The manufacturing process for my personal line really began with two things in mind, environmentally sustainable sourcing and ethical labor concerns. Not only are there huge issues plaguing the environmental side of it, there are numerous ethical labor violations within the industry. My name is Remington Rebel and my brand is called Rebelle. I design and produce cactus leather accessories um, that really focus on environmental sustainability and act as an homage to the Sonoran Desert where I was born and raised and also mix in a little bit of desert architecture as well. I was born and raised in Phoenix, Arizona, and throughout my 20 or so years of being here, I essentially just immediately wanted to leave as fast as possible. I wasn't fond of the desert, obviously it's very hot, um, and I didn't really see the beauty that lies within the desert, but through the past couple of years, I began to take a different look at my environment where I lived and began to see the awesome landscape that we live in and see it in a new light. So with that, I really wanted to create a homage to the Sonoran Desert and really express kind of my current feelings for it and give it some attention that it really truly deserves. Sustainability within fashion is a huge issue plaguing the industry and there are so many different problems, but through my capstone, I really wanted to focus on the leather industry specifically. So there are two types of leather within the garment industry, the first being a vegetable tanned leather. And with vegetable tanned leather, it is generally a little more sustainable as it does not use any harsh chemicals to complete the tanning process. It uses a lot of other resources such as water and energy. Um, alternatively, there is chrome tanned leather, which is about 90% of the leather in the entire leather industry. So not only garments, but automobiles as well. And with chrome tan leather, you're using harsh metals such as chromium. And when not disposed of correctly, these can lead to great environmental concerns, ethical concerns as well for the workforce that is using these chemicals. And in many parts of the world, of course, within the fashion industry, they tend to focus on lesser developed areas that don't have the proper infrastructure set up for disposal of these harsh metals. And essentially they just cause great environmental concerns throughout the regions. Through research, I was looking into other leather alternatives such as mushroom leathers or um, even like pineapple leather with a company called Pinatex. But my mom actually sent me an article on cactus leather and that just immediately clicked for me. Again, living and growing up in the Sonoran Desert, uh, the whole story just kind of came together as an homage again to the desert and an emphasis in sustainability as well. When creating a piece from start to finish, I essentially have about seven steps, give or take. So uh, first off, I have to pattern the piece. I do all the patterning myself. Once the pattern is complete, of course, I have to cut all the material. Uh, from there, I focus on the internal details, such as the internal edges and uh, trims and hardware. From there, I have to assemble everything together and punch the stitching holes for the leather. Uh, once I have those punched, I have to, of course, sew the item together. And then once I have everything finally assembled, I have to just look for all the final details, such as those uh, last edges and bits of hardware. This is the passport wallet, just very simple, but allows for the passport and a couple cars. It's a nice little travel wallet, and then closes up with a nice magnetic snap and keeps your valuables secure when you're traveling. I came to the conclusion that I owed it not only to the environment, but to myself to give these products the full attention they deserve, which led me to hand stitch everything. It all started here.